is up y'all welcome back for another video uh, if it's your first time here I'm Jeff Rowe and this is Jeff Rowe's fish keeping today's video I show you how I feed every one of my tanks every one of my fish and every one of my plecos and every one of my shrimp green beans and a lot of the live streams and forums on the internet I see a lot of people asking all the time can you feed shrimp green beans and I hear people saying no I only feed my plecos green beans and that's okay everybody the way I look at this fish keeping hobby is if it works for you do it if it doesn't work for you don't do it well I've got some tanks that are breeding for profit tanks and they've got everything in them you know they've got snails they've got shrimp they've got plecos and they've got fish in there and I don't know if you guys know this or not but if you try to feed one species it's pretty hard you put your nice expensive shrimp food in there and your plecos are going to eat it you put your green beans in there for the plecos and your shrimp are going to eat it and hopefully you guys see in this video shrimp really love green beans hopefully you guys enjoy what is up y'all thought I would show you guys I seen in the chat on some of my live streams that I watch um, people asking if you can feed your uh, shrimp green beans and the answer is yes and the reason why I found out is because this breeding for profit tank has shrimp it has guppies and it has bristlenose plecos and your bristlenose plecos love green beans just remember to get the type that don't have salt and the French style cut. If you get the regular cut green beans, they have a really hard time getting into them and um, they'll be lasting in your tank for way too long. So, yeah, but it turns into a feast. It really does. I just grab a handful and the best way to do it is to slowly release it into the tank. And I do that with all my tanks. I feed every one of my tanks green beans. They love them. They love them a lot. These little baby bristlenose are going to love it. My endlers and my guppies, they love it. My crayfish, they love it. All of my bristlenose, they just absolutely love it. And I would like to add, I only do this about once a week. <laughs> Check out these shrimp on my GoPro. They're like, hey, what's going on? What's going on? The shrimp absolutely love green beans. The bristlenose, the bristlenose absolutely love green beans. It is an important part of their diet. And if you have a tank that has bristlenose in it and shrimp in it, you're bound to feed the shrimp. I haven't seen any problem at all with it. So I'll check back in on this tank when the shrimp have really found it. it takes a good five minutes or so for them to find it. These bristlenose have found it. Only fed it about five minutes ago. If you remember, these are the free common bristlenose plecos that I got gave to me. And they absolutely love green bean feeding day. And if you see how many I've got in there right now, as far as green beans go, these 28, well, I take that back. There's probably 25 bristlenose plecos left in here because I lost either two or three a few weeks back. I was cleaning the tank and I noticed a couple of floaters. So there's probably like 26 bristlenose plecos in here. And they're really growing out pretty good. And like I said, I feed green beans once a day. I also feed rapashi every once in a while and various other foods. I've got like four or five different foods that I'm feeding them right now. And as you can see, the platy fry even love it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to feed green beans. 
Here's a little platy fry up there. Brand new little one. It just tucked into the... There he is. Little cutie. Little bitty thing. There's all kinds of them. I think I got like five or six. And let's check in on a couple of the other uh, tanks. Ooh, my Endlers and my Albino Brissomos are having a feast. Once a week, I feed them to every, every tank. I'm a believer. I am a believer. It gives them some kind of nutrients. And I can't take credit. Corey from Aquarium Co-op swears by it. But yeah, what you do is you just don't feed your tank for a day. I didn't feed my tank today, and I didn't feed it yesterday. Any of my tanks. And then I pop these bad boys in there, and everything feasts. And it will even bring some of the shrimp. Yeah, there's a shrimp. It's a little cherry shrimp right over there. Yep. I've only got like four cherry shrimp in here. There's another one coming. He's like, where is that smell coming from? He's like, I think over here. Or she. Like she caught a piece. On the leaf there. <laughs> yeah, and the snails, if you have a bunch of snails, they will congregate on it too. Let's go check out on another tank. And the baby bristlenose plecos. Can't hardly see them. The snails are in the way to be able to... There we go. Even though it's blurry, you can see the baby bristlenose are getting in on it. The snails are getting in on it. See that piece that's lighter colored on the green bean doesn't have the skin on it and the plecos can get right to the meat of the green bean and that's why you have to get the French style cut. Figured I'd give you one last live look at how much shrimp love green beans. Want a good way to find out how many shrimp you have? Feed them some French style green beans. This green beans business is such a good food for your baby plecos. These baby bristlenose plecos are having a feast. They love it. What'd you guys think? Told ya, shrimp love green beans. And I think it's good for them. I have never seen anything wrong with it. Just make for sure and get the non-salt type of green beans, which most of them are that way. And then uh, make sure that they're French style cut. Um, they have a hard time getting through the skin and so do plecos as well. So make sure and get the French style cut. And uh, yeah, it works for me. So if you've got shrimp and you want to feed them green beans, go for it. They really clean it up. The next day after I feed a tank, they're completely gone. Every last morsel. Now, you can't feed the whole can to one tank unless you have a couple or 3,000 shrimp and a couple of hundred plecos. But just feed them according to what you have in the tank. Um, you know, start out with a small amount and see how long that lasts and then go up from there. I know about how much I need to feed each one of my tanks and once a week I go around to every single tank and I put green beans in every single tank. Even if there's no shrimp or plecos in it, they still get some green beans and all your fish will eat it. And it's a way to kind of uh, lays off on a day where you don't feed them or something. So like maybe don't feed them a day and then the next day feed them green beans and your fish will even eat them so thanks for stopping by my channel 
If it is your first time stopping by and you're not a subscriber, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure and hit the bell notification because I upload videos on Mondays and Thursdays and I also live stream on Saturday nights at 8 o'clock. So, thanks for coming along on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out y'all.